Welcome back to the Friday vlog series where today we're gonna to split the video into three parts. I know it's pretty controversial. So the first part of this video is... is hi guys, just for a bit coming to me. My name is Ruby and I'm the star of this vlog today. <laughs> <laughs> so the first part of this video is the two Cannondale bikes arriving and the randomness of having a bike without any wheels. Part two is how I ended up with two Cannondale super bikes. Bye daddy. Bye bye, I love you, have a good day. Love you, bye bye. Kids are at school, got my coffee now. Part three is my first impressions on the Cannondale Super 6, and I do have a small bone to pick with Cannondale. So, let's get into it. So I'm at the University of Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm about to walk in with my camera, my backpack, and I'll be walking out with the same two items and two Cannondale super bikes. So, let's go. So, there they are. So, that bike there, it's been sitting there for six days. Is that a bad thing? Not sure. The babies have been there for quite some time. Who's <laughs> hanging with the dolls? I don't know, if, is that a okay thing to do? I'm not sure. I don't think it is. I know somebody's going to be in the comments section having a real crack at me. Oh my god, this guy is a dickhead! That's how long it's been sitting there. There's bloody dust gathering underneath it. What do you do when the bike's got no wheels? I've been using the Super 6 thus far. It's funny, you walk straight in from the other camera out. So behind this camera, you can see there's a front door. Straight in, the first thing that you see is this bike hanging up. You'd think you would notice it. My parents came over for dinner the other night. Didn't even notice it. They're coming over again tonight. We'll see if they notice it. Yes, they were good swimmers today. Oh, I dropped one. Oh, you <laughs> dropped one. I don't like the bikes go fast. <laughs> but we've been having a few in the car anyway. Your bike frame there too? No, it's not my bike, it's somebody else's. But you didn't notice the bike behind you? That one? No. No, I didn't notice that. Oh. Why didn't you notice it? Because I'm used to having crap hanging around my house. <laughs> You noticed the mum, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, for sure. I just thought it was part of the furniture. <laughs> so I've had to move the bike. Not this one here. But my wife, Alice, over there, she's got a photo shoot happening. As you see, it's it's moved from there because it's a lovely little setup here. God, how exciting. It's for your new website, yeah? I don't know about this. There it is towel for it at least and just hanging up over the chapter 2 rear right now. So why I have two Cannondale super bikes on my hands and also my first impressions on the Super 6 but before we get into those two main items I wanted to thank today's video sponsor being Surfshark. If you're watching this video there's a fair chance that you have the internet and if you disagree with that you might need to check in to see somebody about it but the thing about the internet. The unfortunate thing about the internet is there is weird units on the internet and they will look to do fraudulent things, maybe even steal your identity. Well, for just over $3 AUD a month, less than a coffee, unless you like that $1 7-Eleven stuff, you can secure your internet with Surfshark's award-winning VPN, which is essentially like having an online security guard as you enter the online world. I've even had a few channel supporters ask me recently, why do your videos originate in New Zealand? I thought you were Aussie. Well, sometimes I pick a Surfshark server in New Zealand and I am half Kiwi after all, thanks to mum. If you wanna jump on board Surfshark, check out the link below and enter the promo code Cam Nichols to get your $3 AUD per month offer. And thank you to Surfshark once again for supporting my work and also the great offer for the audience. So why do I have my hands, I don't have the other one here, on two Cannondale Superbikes? Well, there is a continental racing team up here on the Sunshine Coast called ARA Pro Racing Sunshine Coast who are part of the Australian Cycling Academy. I did a little bit of work with this team when I first moved up to the Sunshine Coast at the Sun Tour, ironically back in my original hometown of Melbourne, 
where I was hanging out of their team car following Alastair Donahoe on an epic stage four where Al almost landed a podium. Since hanging out with the team, every now and again I go for a role with one of the founders of the Australian Cycling Academy and team owner, Ben Kirsten, who was once a Commonwealth Games gold medalist himself in the kilo and could hold 1200 watts for one minute, which is pretty unbelievable. Anyway, in one of our little roles together, Ben said to me, I have a team bike you might be able to take out for a couple of weeks in return for a review. I said, that would be awesome. He said, it's the Super 6. I said, even better. He said, give me a couple of weeks to organize. A couple of weeks later, he came back to me and said, I actually have a System 6 and a Super 6 in a 54. Would you like them both? I said, bloody oath. So the net result is, Ben gets a little bit of exposure for a brand that works with him being Cannondale because of the excellent people that sit behind this camera that watch my content, thank you very much. And I get the opportunity to ride two of Cannondale's super bikes. And as a result of having two bikes, there will be two reviews or maybe a joint review. I'm yet decided, let me know below, coming your way soon. So I wanna thank both Ben Kirsten and also his team mechanic, Dave Manton, for providing the bikes and giving me this opportunity. So my first impressions on the Super 6. I've ridden it four times now. Friendly Friday ride, Saturday bunch, which is pretty fast, Tuesday World Champs, which is super fast up here on the Sunshine Coast, and also today I took it out for, I'd say, a cruise, solo cruise by myself in pretty filthy conditions. In fact, I had to give the Super 6 a solid wash when I got back. And for those with a keen eye, you might notice the components, the setup is different to the stock models. And you'll see there's a bit more cable showing at the front end than normal, and there's no cap there. Long story, but COVID has affected the availability of those caps recently, and as a spare bike for the team, they need some flexibility at the front end, hence the longer cables. But we'll go into more details on the setup in the full reviews. For now, I just wanna give you my first impressions, and with my first impressions, I have yet to do any research read other reviews, etc. They're purely my raw thoughts. And after riding this bike four times now, my raw thought is that this bike is exceptional. And I don't just say that lightly. There are four things that come to mind. Number one, its ability to hold speed in a draft rivals the best aero bikes I've ridden. Number two, its comfort levels rivals that of the BMC team machine, both the front end and the back end. Number three, it's incredibly nimble and responsive when climbing. And number four, it's aggressive, but not over the top. Now that last point, you might be thinking, what the hell is he talking about? To give you an example, a couple of years ago, or maybe a few years ago now, I had the opportunity to ride the Tarmac SL6. Tarmac S-Works SL6, and one of the negatives about that bike, and there weren't many, this is probably the only one, is it felt borderline twitchy. You get out of the saddle or hook into a sharp turn at speed, and it almost felt out of control. In fact, I recall overcooking a few corners when riding that machine. Now, no doubt you would get used to this characteristic once you start riding the Tarmac for long periods of time. However, it didn't strike me as a overwhelmingly positive attribute from a handling perspective, whereas this bike, out of the saddle, cornering, accelerating, it's aggressive, but without being over the top, and I really like that attribute. The only slight, and I wouldn't call it a negative, but it's something that stuck with me, was during the Tuesday World Champs up here in Noosa, where the speeds are around 50 kilometers per hour at times. When traveling at speed over hard road lumps, bumps and divots, etc. I did find myself bouncing around on the saddle a little more than usual. And when you look at the back end, dropped seat stays, which a lot of brands are doing these days, more aerodynamic apparently, and creates more comfort because when you think about the road, bars and vibrations, got the opportunity to travel up the seat post a little more and the seat post has more opportunity to flex. And when you're traveling at speed, that flex can create more of a bouncing sensation off the seat when hitting road bumps. But in reality, this will happen on any road bike. I just perhaps felt it a little bit more on this Cannondale. But it's nothing I would personally dwell on because it creates an incredibly comfortable back end. And I noticed this in particular after getting back from the Saturday bunch ride, I ended up doing a few more hours. I did 160 kilometers all up, or that's 100 miles, and I came back pretty fresh. There was no neck and shoulder or lower back complaints, which is pretty rare for an aggressive race bike. So from a comfort perspective, it gets a big tick, and if you're keen to see the full review on this road bike 
and you're yet to subscribe and hit the bell notification below, please do so to ensure you know when I give you a full review on this bike behind me right here. Now, as you saw at the start of this video, why does the System 6 have no wheels? Well, the ARA, Pro Racing Sunshine Coast team, are racing at the moment and they need spare wheels, which is fair enough, they take priority over me, so I will be swapping these Caden wheels, which I've been super impressed with actually, never ridden them before, they're an Aussie brand out of New South Wales, I believe, and putting these onto the System 6 and putting the Super 6 on the mantelpiece. So finally, the bone that I have to pick with Cannondale, it's pretty simple, and it's not the fact that you can hypnotize yourself with take them off the Super 6, put them on the System 6, and then the Super 6. Super 6, System 6, like, System 6, Super 6. But surely the System 6 should be the Super 6. I know they've probably got their reasons, no doubt I will find out about those when I do my research before the full review, but surely the Aero Fast Bike should be the Super Bike, as confusing as System 6 and Super 6 can be. Anyway, that's it. What do you reckon? And what do you think of this color? Let us know below, below. Don't put a thumbs down, thumbs up for the video if you've got enjoyment out of this one today, and I'll catch you all in the next video.